when we make the molecules flow, they develop a velocity profile. The plastic in the center flows the fastest, as shown by the longer arrows. The plastic near the walls flow the slowest because their speed is reduced by friction with the wall. This flow profile shows that the speed of each molecule depends on how far it is from the wall, fastest in the center, and slowest near the wall. Flow is the reason molecules can become oriented. This molecule is lying approximately crosswise to the flow direction. The velocity arrows show that the end nearest the wall will flow more slowly than the end towards the center. Is that possible? No, not unless the molecule breaks. Here's what happens. The faster end moves ahead, the slower end drops back, and the whole molecule now aligns in the flow direction, flowing at one speed. Now we'll show flow of all the molecules. Notice that molecules only orient where there is a difference in the flow speed. When two adjacent molecules flow at different speeds, there is a shearing between them. This is what causes them to orient. In the center of the flow stream, the molecules are flowing fast, but there is no difference in the speed of the neighboring molecules, so there is no orientation. Remember, the orientation of polymer molecules is not caused by flow speed, it is caused by a flow speed difference. 